In the previous video, you saw that when we did a test, we ended up on this page, which is not a good thank you page. It's basically there only because there isn't a thank you page. So in this video, we're going to show you how to create a thank you page, which has a very specific goal, which is number one, build a relationship with the new email subscriber. Number two, to tell them what to do next. You got to make that very clear so they know what is the next logical step for them. Now, in this particular demo, I'm going to show you how to do exactly that. And what's important to note also is you'll be able to actually download the template of the thank you page I'll be creating. You can customize it with your own colors, your own info and stuff like that. I will do a demonstration of including a thank you video, which I strongly recommend you do. But if you wish not to use it, then when you download the template, you simply download the video. With that said, let me show you from A to Z how to create a thank you page right now. Click on add step. You're going to type in thanks. And I like to label this again, affiliate program setup guide. So then people, so I know when it's going to be here, what it's going to be. Now under opt-in, you will choose opt-in thank you. Now you're going to click on save. You're going to have a lot of different templates. You pick any of them. It doesn't really matter too much, but some of them are actually quite nice and they're usable right out the gate. So I'm just going to pick this one. And then I like to always label the URL. Thanks affiliate guide or affiliate program guide. And then whatever those numbers are, I will add a little bit of extra things like here. That way people cannot reach this page on their own. And it's just kind of a funny thank you page URL. That's just how I do it. Once I've done that, you're going to go to edit page. Now here you've got a few points. So you can see this template that they put the link that somebody could actually open the URL right here for the particular guide. Personally, I don't like it. And I'll tell you why. If you were to put the button or the actual ebook on the thank you page, what's going to happen is in case somebody accidentally gave you the wrong email address, maybe they made a typo or whatever, what's going to happen is that you didn't actually get their email address. All you did is you gave them the ebook and you got no email to follow up. So in my case, I always actually let them know that the ebook has been sent to their email inbox. Now I am not a big fan of anything here really. So I'm just going to delete literally everything. And I'm going to start from scratch. So I'm going to say the email or the affiliate program setup guide was sent to your email inbox like that. Now I'll duplicate this. And I will say, thanks. Thanks for requesting the guide. Make this two, make this, let's say 42. Make this four. And I could just say, do something like that. And I like to include a video. Now what you can do is you can do something like this, put a video here put text right here, your next steps, like so, bullets, make the vertical space it so it's spaced out, change the color to whatever your brand is, in my case it's orange, on the check, in this case I might do something like that. Now I will find the name of the email that I wrote, contact at runbookkai.com. you're in affiliate program set up guide because that's what I wrote the email if you recall something like that little emojis Okay, that's good. Now, I'm going to show you quickly just to demonstrate how simple it is to actually record a video. And I'm going to use a tool that is called Tela TV. That's what I typically use. But because I'm actually recording this tutorial with Tela TV, I'm going to instead record the particular thank you video using my phone. 
So this is my iPhone. I'm going to record it. And because I want you to be able to see what I'm also doing as well, I'm not going to record it like this because that also will block your camera view. So I'm going to record it like this. That way you can kind of see me. You'll see it from the back of my head as well. But you'll see what I'm doing. Now, when I record this, it will be a quick two minutes video. What I'm going to actually show on my screen is not what the recording or anything like that or the screen view you're seeing. I'm actually going to record so people can visually see this lead magnet basically. Now, I'm not probably not going to be able to have it move straight away, but anyway, you, you'll get the idea. I'll, I'll try to do it so in a way where people can see what the screen is and all that stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on my phone, first of all. I'm going to go to camera and now I'm going to click on video and now I can switch it so you can see me and I'll go like this and I'll do it in a way where they can kind of see my screen and everything like that. Now it's kind of tricky because they'll be able to see my face as well behind like you can see inside so I'll see if I can kind of move this around. Your camera, remove that. Let me just move. Okay, like this. There you go. Okay, that's good. Hey, it's around here. Thank you so much for requesting the affiliate program guide and how to set it up. It's been sent to your email inbox. You can see on my screen right behind me is what you're actually going to see when you click on that link in the email. So I'd love for you to go check it out right away. It's been sent from contact and And the subject line is you're in with a little confetti and affiliate program setup guide. That's the subject line. Go check it out right now. We'd love for you to click it and get started right away. You should be able to have your affiliate program set up in 24 hours or less. I'd love to know your feedback. Maybe we'll take you a little bit longer if you're not as tech savvy, if you've never done it before. It's totally fine. This is not a race, but the steps are all there. Also, if you do me a quick favor, just reply to my email and just let me know you received the guide. It's really important to me to make sure that you actually received it. That's about it. I really appreciate you. Looking forward to serving you. This checklist is going to give you everything you need, and I would love to see what you created once it's done. Thanks. I'll speak to you soon. Cheers. Okay, so now that you've seen exactly what I've done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to upload this video from my phone over to my computer. Now, some of you may or may not have iPhone. In my case, because I have an iPhone, I can actually click on it and share it and airdrop it straight into my computer. Some of you may not have that, so I'm going to give you a different solution. So the alternative solution, and I think that will work no matter what phone you're using, is to actually upload the video from your phone directly to Canva. So you will need to have the Canva app on your phone. And I'm going to go to the Canva app right now. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to, on the computer, you can click on create design. You're going to click on video and then you're going to click on uh, 19920 by 1080. You're going to click on that. We're going to call this thank you video upload. And now you're going to see if you go to uploads and you actually look under videos, you'll see there's no video here. So now I'm going to go to the Canva app. So you're going to drag down, you're going to search for Canva. You're going to click on Canva. And now you will see the thank you video that's going to appear right there. So you're going to click into it and then you're going to move on the bottom and you're going to click on upload. And then you're going to click on upload files, click on device, choose the photo library and then choose the video. Now you're going to click on add. Now you will see this white circle. You have to keep your phone open while this is happening because when if your phone closes, it will basically stop downloading. So just wait it out, let it. It's going to take a little bit because it is a little bit of a heavy file because it's using iPhone. It's going to be a little bit big. And then as you do that, by the time it will finish, you will actually see the video right here on the video library under uploads, basically. So that's how that is going to work. And then you'll be able to add it right here and we'll be able to export it as an MP4 file. There you go. So now the video is available on the computer. We're happy with this video. I'm going to click on share, click MP4. 
and click on download and then I'll just wait for the video to download to my computer. By the way, I edited the video slightly in Canva and added text, B-roll and all that stuff. If you want to see how I did all of that, that's another little video I did up here. It's going to be a bonus video for you. You can check it out how to do video editing with Canva. With that said, let me show you how to take that video and put it on the thank you page. So now we are on the thank you page. The video that we recorded has been edited and ready to go up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this video element. I'm going to click on the drop down. I'm going to click on upload file. I'm going to click on this icon on the left. And now I can either select the file or drag it in. I'm going to click on select file. Now you may not actually see this portion. I can just click into it or alternatively, I can do basically the exact same thing and just drag the video over. And then you'll see as I move the mouse cursor closer, and you can see this turns kind of bluish and now I'm going to release the mouse and then it's going to now upload. If you're having any issues with uploading the video file, just be aware that it might be because the file, the video file is way too big or the video file format is not the one that you want. So in order to solve that, I do have a tutorial right here, how to compress a large video. And I will leave it in the description for you to check out in case you're having any difficulties with uploading the file. Now we'll go back to the video as it should be ready as we are uploading it. And you can see it right here. It's now been uploaded. And then I'm going to click on insert. Now, before I do, I want you to pay attention to the name of the video. So the video file that I uploaded is thank you video for affiliate program setup mp4. mp4 is the correct video file. Now it is important that you label the video file before you upload it, because then if you ever are searching for a video or a PDF or an image, if you search on file, you'll be able to find it. If you're not labeling it correctly, you will not be able to find it easily. And you cannot edit this name after. So it is really important to label the actual file before uploading it. Now that I have, I'm going to click on insert and here it is. Now with every single video, you're going to notice a few things on the left. You're going to see controls, which means there's the play button and things like that. You always typically want to make it on. So you're going to click on that and this is how it's going to appear. Now, the only times you really are going to say off is if you want people to not be able to pause your video. I typically don't really recommend it. It's not a very good user experience. So just leave it on. Then you've got this feature of autoplay, meaning do you want the video to play straight away as soon as somebody lands on the page? Now, the downside of that is when you do that, the video will appear to play, but there is not going to be any sound and you're going to turn it on. And then when people land on this page, it's going to be funny because they're not going to hear anything and they're going to need to click on the mute button, which is okay. I'll show you what I mean. So this is what the page is actually going to look like. And you'll see this thing right here. So even though it will autoplay, they're going to need to click on this thing right here. I set it up. It's been sent to you. Once it's been clicked, then it will work just fine. Now, in terms of this video, you will notice that here I have a little program bit of guide. I have a little bit of a white section like so. So in some cases, I also want to make a little shadow, a little line inside the video. The way to do that is you click on style, click on solid, and then I can make this orange, for example, click on save. And now when I click on the preview icon again, you'll see a little orange around it. So now when it gets to this section, it is still very obvious that this is actually part of the video. So that's just a little tip for you if you want to do that. You can also play with the video in other ways. The, the main thing that I usually do is I do change the margins to two just to make it a little bit smaller. And that way it's a little bit more spaced out as well once you do mobile editing. And by the way, I will leave mobile editing to the very end and I'll show you how to do mobile editing for both the squeeze page and also the thank you page. I'll be in one of the next videos. So now that I've uploaded the video, it's all ready and all that stuff. We're pretty much ready to go with this page. It is all good to go. We're going to click on save changes. And then we are going to, before we exit, we're just going to change the settings. So it doesn't say opt-in thank you on the SEO. 
we're just going to say things like so. And that's all that matters. You want to make it so it's hidden from the search engines, meaning people cannot actually find it because you don't want people to find this page unless they actually subscribe. And in terms of Facebook events, don't worry about why, but in this case, you're going to put the word lead. That's what you're going to do. Leave it like that. And I will do a different training on Facebook app at some point, and I'll explain this whole process. But for right now, a thank you page after somebody subscribes is a lead. Now I'm going to click on save changes and we officially have ourselves a thank you page. In the next video, I'm going to show you mobile editing of the squeeze page and the thank you page so we can make sure that they look good on mobile before we actually do the final tests.